General Motors providing some guidance for the first time since the UAW strike. We want to get right to Phil LeBeau. He's got the latest on this. Phil? Becky, take a look at shares of General Motors moving higher as the company announces new guidance for 2023, not dramatically different than the previous guidance, which it pulled during the UAW strike, and also some shareholder actions. Let's start first off with the new guidance. Full year EBIT adjusted earnings of 11.7 to 12.7 billion dollars previous guidance was 12 to 14 billion dollars the eps ebit adjusted or the uh, adjusted eps for the full year 720 to 770 a share the street right now is at 745 previous guidance was 715 to 815 a share auto free cash flow of 10.5 to 11 and a half billion dollars Previous guidance was 7 to $9 billion. The company is also estimating that the full EBIT-adjusted impact of the UAW strike is $1.1 billion. Now to another reason why shares are moving higher. General Motors deciding, you know what? We paid the union, and now it's time to pay the shareholders. This is a big move. A $10 billion accelerated stock repurchase program is being announced. $6.8 billion of GM shares immediately retired. I did the math. Depending on where they settle out on the trades, it's going to be about 17% of the float that's out there right now. 33% increase in dividend. The quarterly dividend up $0.03 cents a share, going to $0.12 cents a share in 2024 in the first quarter. Big moves by General Motors this morning. We'll discuss all of it coming up on Squawk on the Street. You don't want to miss our conversation with GM Chair Mary Barra. We'll talk about this, the impact of the UAW strike, and the fact that, guys, this is a very strong statement they're making, especially retiring $6.8 billion worth of shares immediately. That's going to be one reason why you see the shares moving higher right now. Yeah, big moves for the company, Phil. Big moves for the stock this morning, too. It's up by about 5.5%. Why the sudden yep. change in all of this guidance? Is it stuff they didn't want to say when the UAW was still striking to, to give the UAW well, a Well, they have stronger now, they've hand? got clarity. Yeah, Becky, they didn't have clarity before exactly what the final cost was going to be before in terms the of the UAW strike. And remember, when they were close to finalizing things, and I think it might have been right when they got the tentative agreement, they came out and they said, you know, we've got about $1.5 in EV investments that are expected to kick in next year. We're deferring those. We're pushing those out. There clearly is a shift at General Motors, and I think we'll probably hear the same thing from Ford when it presents at an investor conference tomorrow, the shift being... Look, we piled a lot of money into EVs. That market is not developing as quickly as we thought it was. We're still going to be investing there. But in the meantime, we need to be more judicious with our capital outlays. And that's one reason behind the new guidance in terms of what you're seeing right now. And they're not ad advertising in the Super Bowl. I guess that saves some money, too. Yeah. Phil, <laughs> thank you. We'll see you a little later. You bet.